I'm going to start off by saying this. Son, all you do is lie. All you did was lie whenever I was at that daycare. I mean, police department. You couldn't tell if it was a daycare or a police department with all the kids' toys and kids and authorized personnel-only areas. While I was up there trying to do a records request, I was told I'm not allowed to film, uh, not allowed to do records request, not allowed to file a complaint, given totally false information. And now I'm at Internal Affairs uh, filing a complaint on the lieutenant. Son... You need to stop all that line. Now, I will say internal affairs handled themselves professionally. Now, people say all the time they want officers to be held accountable. Well, internal affairs is the place to go if you want any type of reprimand or action taken against these officers. Now, I will say this interaction did go peacefully for once. Most of the interactions I've had involving police or any type of government worker interaction has not gone peacefully because they love to lie, disrespect you, violate your rights. I'm actually up here to file a complaint on an officer who assaulted a woman on two separate occasions, failed to identify himself, threatened me with arrest for filming and speaking. They love to threaten you with arrest for speaking and filming. That is the number one thing they hate here in Fort Worth. And whenever he left the scene, he decides to drive his patrol cruiser into oncoming traffic, nearly causing a wreck. It is ridiculous that the police will still go to the council meetings and demand higher pay when they don't have a clue what the law is, and they continue to lie and commit crimes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this. Be sure to smash that thumbs up, subscribe, get your chin straps buckled. Let's go. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. And who I, do I have the pleasure to speak with today? Officer Chavez. Officer Chavez. Okay. I had spoke with a sergeant, uh, excuse me, a lieutenant, John Davis, with uh, Fort Worth South uh, Division. I was informed uh, to come here uh, to do records request, public records request, and also file a complaint. And I need to do a records request as well. All right. All right, here you go. All right. This is what is this? This is how you get police records. And here is your complaint form. So this address here, the uh, 1000 Calvert Street, is the correct address for the records for South Division? Uh, well, we don't have, we don't do the records by division, we do by the entire city. Oh, well that's funny, because the lieutenant at South Division, Lieutenant John Davis, told me that to file public records request, I had to go to an address that doesn't even exist, and then he lied again saying this was the place to do records request, so you can't believe a word he says. I'm going to show you guys a clip of how unprofessional this place is as soon as you walk in. And you can compare the two. Look how Internal Affairs treated me with respect when I walked in. Now look at how South Division 4th Police Department treated me when I walked in. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'd like to do a public records request. Um, are you recorded? Yes, ma'am. No, I can't be recorded. Yeah, you can. This is a public uh, police department. This is public. I don't want to be recorded. Ma'am, I have a First Amendment right to record. One of those. So can I get a records request? That was a kid you just saw in authorized personnel only area. Let me know if I'm getting this wrong in the comments, guys. Let's continue on. Okay, so the entire city goes to this same address. Okay, I understand. And this right here is the complaint form. And you handle complaints for all divisions here, or specifically South Division? Internal affairs. Okay. All right, I'll fill this back. Uh, I'll fill this paper out, and I'll get back with you. Okay. This is it. Your internal affairs man. Okay. Yeah, I was just telling him. Uh, I was doing this complaint form right, and there wasn't a lot of uh, there wasn't a lot of space on there. Uh, anyways, there was an officer with the South Division, named Officer Hogue. Uh, there was a pursuit, a man on a four-wheeler. 
Apparently there was a foot chase, and I'm, I'm trying to request this body camera as well. Sure. During that foot chase, when he was chasing this man on the four-wheeler, there was a lady that was out there uh, standing, telling the man to stop. The uh, officer then proceeds to shove the lady, not involved in the incident. Uh, I spoke with her on the phone. Uh, her, this was her brother that was arrested. He was taken to JPS Hospital. Uh, and to my understanding, he suffered some pretty serious injuries. Okay. Uh, they said they put a straw down his throat. He couldn't breathe. Uh, maybe had a pu punctured lung. Uh, anyways, so she gets back up after being shoved and then goes to where that officer's putting him in the car. And then she says she was shoved a second time by the same officer. This was before I got there. So I arrive at the scene and start filming it. You got two different ladies there. Uh, both of them are confirming this story. They then take the stop down the street a couple blocks to a Dollar General, or right beside a Dollar General, uh, where the man was being placed in an ambulance after this interaction. Uh, I requested this man's name, given the allegations, excessive force on a woman who's not involved. He then proceeds to threaten uh, me with arrest for filming and speaking. On top of that, he would not identify himself as a police officer. Is this part of the policy to assault people that are not involved in the pursuit? Now, I know there was recently a wreck that happened which killed somebody in the pursuit, but is it part of the policy to assault people that are not involved in the pursuit? Because that's what is being claimed here. There's witnesses back in this. Mm -hmm. I went to South Division today myself and spoke to a lieutenant uh, by the name of John Davis. Uh, John Davis then had denied me a records request, and he could have went to the website and printed one off for me. They chose not to. And uh, I want to file a complaint on that, and this was under the supervision of Sergeant Salvatore. Okay. Um You've already, have you spoken to a detective yet? An internal affairs? No, I went to South Division because I wanted to do a records request for the body camera uh, to show the incident. I wasn't there for the incident. This is what the lady is saying. Yeah. I told her I'd come down here and do a complaint. I'd check it out for myself. And what I also I witnessed after the whole threatening me with arrest for filming and asking his name and badge number given the circumstances, they drive their patrol cruiser into oncoming traffic, almost causing an accident. Like they were, they were trying to get out of there and not identify themselves. Like they clearly did something wrong. Why would you leave the parking lot in such a manner without your emergency lights on? <clears throat> and he didn't identify himself. I spoke to a lady that was there. I don't have her name. Uh, she's the one who informed me it was Officer Hogue. I said, "Well, why didn't you uh, give that man a citation? It almost caused an accident when he drove over the sidewalk into the street. He didn't use the regular." Uh, exits in this parking lot and the texas penal code for reckless driving says if you're driving in a way that puts other drivers in danger this guy drove his patrol cruiser into oncoming traffic guy just slammed his brakes on he's clearly an endangerment and uh, that's what my complaint is and uh maybe you guys can do something about this okay where did you get this from uh, i got it from officer chavez okay when did you get it I'd say about 15, 20 minutes ago. Okay. Um, did he go over with you the instructions on this? No. Okay. And what was your name, sir? Yeah, it's, it's Detective Russell. I'll give you a card, right? Just so you have oh, the card, card. right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure you hang okay. on. Okay. All so, right. C. West, yep. Corporal Detective. Okay. And what's your name, sir? And this happened on what night? This was on March 4th, uh, 2024, at approximately 2100 and 01. That's military time. Gotcha. Um, and where was this at? You have a report number or anything like that? I haven't been able to do my records request yet to get it. Okay. I tried, like I said, I tried to do a records request day at the South Division uh, headquarters is what it says outside. And okay. You don't have the report number? You don't have an, do you have an address, anything like that? Man, all I know is this was on seminary. Just Hogue on that, just Officer Hogue, and that was the approximate time? Yeah, incident where Officer Hogue was making an arrest on March 4th.
Okay. This was off uh, seminary. It wasn't even on seminary. It, it was seminary was there, but it was like you'd had to take another street, and then there were some apartments there. That's where that's where I came in. I filmed it, and apparently the pursuit took place somewhere in that area. I, I think on that seminary is where the pursuit initiated, which led to a man being put in the hospital. And who is the female again? She's just an acquaintance of yours? She's an acquaintance of mine. She's apparently the man who was put in the hospital. That's his, apparently his sister. Okay. You know that guy's name? I don't know his name. I just know her name because we, uh, she had reached out to me because I told her I was out there filming it. Okay. And you just happened to be in the, in the area? Well, I had seen some police cars out, and it looked like they were putting a guy in the back of a cop <clears> car, <throat> and that's whenever I decided to go over there. And uh, I seen another woman over there filming it too. I don't know if she followed up with you guys or, or what happened with her after that. Uh, first, first, time first time you've heard of this? Okay. I've been out. Of, I've been on a vacation for weeks, so it's my first day back. So something happened. Must and must be nice. There might be a. There might have been a, a complaint filed already. I just don't know. Off the top yeah, of I head. understand. You know, it must be nice. You know, good vacation. Um, and what is your name, sir? All right, let me do a little bit of checking on that. I'm going to leave this with you, okay? Yeah. Um, You'll have to get that. I have a video of it. I was going to ask that next. Is there an email? Yeah. yeah. Clint West at Forward Texas Gov. Yeah. And I can see the video. It is kind of blurry. I'm going to try to follow through with, uh, to try to get this body camera footage. I got somebody. They tell you uh, to check with Oprah Records and how to get we, Yeah, he had gave me a paper. Uh, Calvert Street apparently does records request. According to him, I, I haven't fact checked this yet, but. According to him, all the Fort Worth records are handled. You can do well, it police person. records. You can do it in person. Right. On account where you can do it online as well. So. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that when I went to South Division. But yeah, that's what my complaint is today. And I also want to file a complaint on uh, Lieutenant Paul Davis. Okay. Because. I'll give you a uh, second one of these external complaint forms, okay? Yeah, because I didn't like how he told. He, he basically said they couldn't fit, print off a complaint form, and they could. And then he gave me the wrong address, and I walk into this place. Now, this wasn't a police officer. This was a clerk. But as soon as I walk in there, uh, she's saying, oh, you can't be in here recording. Uh, I can't be recorded. It honestly looked like she had turned the, her job into a daycare because she had, like, all these toys and a kid in there running around while she's on the clock. And I'm like, this is not a daycare. This is a police department. We have rights here. And she ended up leaving, called the police. That's when the lieutenant came out. That's how I ended up talking to the lieutenant, and he – he apparently didn't know where to file a records request at or anything. I'm like, how are you a lieutenant? You don't know this. Okay. Another thing is, I don't know if you guys handled the training. You guys do training here too, don't you? There's training under here, yes, sir. Yeah, there's been an issue going on with the police not knowing the law. Um, you have a right to film and you have a right to speak in this country. It seems like every time, me personally, I'm filming a traffic stop out here and I'm threatened with arrest, I'm either insulted or arrested altogether. And this ain't just Fort Worth, it's neighboring departments as well. The law clearly states you have to display criminal negligence. We have a right to film. We have a right to speak. I seriously believe if Jesus Christ came down from heaven and was preaching his gospel to the, one of the officers while they're doing arrest, they would arrest him too. Because they, and they're trying to say, I spoke to a guy in West Division, he was saying this. It's something I have to go to city council for. So we don't know if this is like a policy issue or is this how they're being trained? Why is people being threatened with arrest so much? Me in particular. Okay. When they're filming Let's these stops. This one first, okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, is this part of the training or is this a policy issue? Or? Without knowing exactly what you're talking about or seeing the video. I've, no I've got videos. Right. I got one. So let's I was deal, at the club. Let's I was deal getting... with this for now. Okay. This complaint that you have. Um, I'll give you the second complaint form if you wish to file a complaint against lieutenants. You can do that here. Okay. You've got my card. Let me see if I can find the report numbers right now. I just don't have a reference point. All right. I appreciate you, Mr. West. I'll uh, okay. I'll fill this out and give it to you. Okay. 
All right, so the first one I got here for you is for Officer Hogue. I got this one on video. Uh, I can send it to this email, the Clint West email. Okay. The video I have of this incident. What, what I'll do, why don't you let me, can you get a text to this, to this number that you gave me? Yeah. What I want to do is send you a link to ev from evidence.com to this number, and you can upload it directly to that. Okay. okay. That'll make it simpler on everybody. So I will, once I get back to the office, I'll send that link to this number. Let okay. Come to you, okay? One more thing. Where can I go to file a complaint on a city clerk? Would that be here too? Because I, I had an incident where I was assaulted by a clerk. And yeah. It, it kind of made me feel uneasy because let's say you're doing a records request, right? Mm -hmm. I have video evidence and documentation to prove that the city clerks were given records requests to the wrong departments when I tried to do one on the marshals. Um, after it was confirmed that they were lying, I go in to try to do the records request again. They did not like the fact that they were caught in lies, I reckon. Uh, lady comes out from behind the desk and begins to shove me. And then tries to, what I believe is she's trying to take the phone out of my hand. Okay. And uh, after that, she punches a wall. Uh, it was the, clear the, the lady, clerk the clerk did, yeah. I got it on video to prove it. Okay. You know, it sounds crazy, but I got it on video. Okay. I believe this lady is a threat to herself and others. And I, I don't know how she's working in uh, official capacity as a clerk. Like, it just Let blows my mind. Let me find that out. It won't, it won't be through us. We yeah, officers, but when I because believe it or not, I filed I filed a complaint on that matter, and never heard anything back. <laughs> Let me see what <laughs> with, I can with find the people out. that they told me to file the complaint yeah. with. I'll do my best to try to find out who it is. I'm still off the top of my head, but I'll let you know when I when I send you that link to this number if I can find the information for you. All right, and this other one I got is for the for lieutenant. The lieutenant. Yeah, and I ain't published that video yet, but okay. I got it on the other side. Okay. I, what I'm it, gonna do is it was Lieutenant uh, John Bain. Let me grab this real quick. Okay. What I'm gonna have you do is just sign it and date it. Sign and date. Yeah. Just okay. These. And there you go. And I think I found. I, I think I just found the incident that happened on the fourth on the body cameras, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So it had been previously reported. No, no. I just you okay. gave me the date and the time, and I, I I think I found the video you're referring to, but you found I, the body camera. Yeah, I think. Awesome. Not a, I didn't have a chance to. But they I they think started, and I got another phone call. So can I request so. body camera footage through you guys? I can. It's three eighteen. <clears throat> I fill this part out subscribe and sworn back to a notary public. No, sir. I'll, I'll suffice and replace the notary, but just to sign the other one as well. Okay. So since you have to admit this, I can, I can be able to do it. Okay, so that's uh, 318. I believe so. Yep. And how do I do a records request for the body camera footage? Same place. Down there. Oh, at Calvert? Mm -hmm. yep. oh, I, I was on the said I could request it here through you guys. Um, that that's who it's going to go through. Yeah. And you said you would find out who I could go to to file a complaint on a clerck. I'll do my best. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not sure who it will be. I, I normally don't file complaints answer. on clerks, but that lady was <laughs> way over the top yeah, with it. That's a new question on me. I haven't had that one yet, so I'll see what I can do. All right. Well, I appreciate you for keeping well, it I'll professional, Mr. West. Shortly, okay? All right. I appreciate All you, right. Mr. West. Thank you.